Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at solving a system of equations by substitution. So we have the word problem, Jimmy has $7.60 in his piggy bank. The piggy bank contains only quarters and dimes. If there are exactly 40 coins in the piggy bank, how many of each type of coin does Jimmy have? So what we want to do with this problem, we want to set up some algebraic equations to express what's going on in the problem. For instance, we know that the piggy bank contains only quarters and dimes, so we could say something like let x equal the number of quarters in Jimmy's piggy bank. So we have x equals the number of quarters, and now what else we could do? We could set y equal to the number of dimes. So we have y equals the number of dimes. So now, what do we know, what information was given to us? We know there are exactly 40 coins in the piggy bank. So if we add the number of quarters and dimes, we could set that equal to 40 because there are only quarters and dimes in this piggy bank. So we could say something like x plus y is equal to 40. And now the second thing we could say, we know that Jimmy has $7.60 in his piggy bank. And since they're only in quarters and dimes, we could set up an equation we could start by saying something like 0, I'm going to write this a little bit lower, so we have 0 0.25 times x, because remember, x is the number of quarters, so if we multiply 0 0.25 times x, this would tell us the amount of money that Jimmy has in quarters. For instance, if he had two quarters, we would be doing 0.25 times 2 equals 0.50, or if he had three quarters, we would be doing something like 0.25 times 3 equals 0.75. So now we have 0.25 times x, and we're going to add 0 0.10 times y. And now 0 0.10 times y is going to represent all the money that he has in dimes. Since a dime is worth 10 cents, we would have 0.10 times the number of dimes to give us the total amount of money he has. The logic follows just as it did before when we had 0.25 times x. So now we could set this equation equal to $7.60, but I'm just going to write 7.60. We're going to leave the currency symbols out because all we're interested in is the number of quarters and dimes that he has. So now to find the number of quarters and dimes, this is where the substitution technique is going to come in. We have two equations with two variables, and we want to be able to reduce this to a single variable equation. So what we could do is we have x plus y equals 40. Let's subtract x from both sides. So we're going to subtract x from both sides, and now this is going to say y equals. So we have y equals 40 minus x. And now what this allows us to do, we could substitute y equals 40 minus x into the second equation, and then we'll have an equation of one variable. So now I'm going to rewrite this equation. We have 0 0.25 times x <coughs> plus 0 0.10 times y. But now instead of y, we're going to replace y with 40 minus x. So we have 40 minus x. And remember, this is all equal to 7.60. So now what we could do is we just go ahead and distribute. We're going to distribute 0 0.10, and we're going to multiply 0 0.10 with these two terms. So the next line is going to read, we have 0.25x plus, so now we have 0 0.10 times 40, that's equal to 4. And then we have 0 0.10 times minus x. That's a minus 0.10x. And this is still all equal to 7.60. So now for the next line, what we could do is we could combine like terms. We have a positive 0.25x and a negative 0.10x. So when we combine those two, we should get 0.15x. And now we have plus 4 is equal to 7.60. So now to get x alone, we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. And now on the left-hand side, 4 minus 4 will cancel. We have 0.15x is equal to, and now we have 7.60 minus 4 is 3.60. So now to get x by itself, the only thing we need to do now is divide by 0.15. So we're going to divide both sides by 0.15. And now on the left-hand side, 0.15 divided by 0.15 will cancel. 
So we have x is equal to 3.60 divided by 0.15 gives us 24. So now we could start writing down our answer. We have x equals 24. Remember, x is the number of quarters. So there are 24 quarters in Jimmy's piggy bank. And now to find the number of dimes, remember, there are 40 coins in his piggy bank. So we could use this second equation that we found. We have y equals 40 minus x. So we have y equals 40 minus 24, which is equal to 16. And remember, y is the number of dimes. So there are 16 dimes in Jimmy's piggy bank. And now a quick thing we could do to check that our answer is definitely right. If he has 24 quarters, remember every four quarters is a dollar. So if we do 24 divided by 4, we have 6. So there is $6 in quarters. Because remember, every 4 is a dollar. So now 16 dimes, we do 16 times 10 is 160. So we have 160 cents or $1.60. So now when we add together $6 and $1.60, we get $7.60. Which is exactly what we started with in the beginning of the problem. So our final answer, we have 24 quarters and 16 dimes. Okay, well this is going to conclude this system of equations by substitution problem. Thank you all for watching and I hope this video was helpful.